guys, Dottie here, and welcome to part two of unboxing the Real Littles Super Mystery Box of 197 pieces. So yesterday in part one, we opened up 50 of them. So this shows our progress so far and what we have to open up today. And today we are definitely showing these little shopping baskets. And this is the other side that we have to open up as well. If you have not seen part one, I will link it in the description. And at the very end, I'm going to show every everything that we got so for today we're opening up the last 47 all right you guys let's chatter more opening let's do this all right guys we got number 51 we got pringles sour cream and onion now i know i've said this before but what i love about these it actually pops off like a pringle can and it looks like a pringle can i love that little touch now the other two pringle cans in this collection were a little bigger so this is the short one I would say out of the three that we opened up, the original, the cheddar cheese, and this sour cream and onion is definitely my favorite. Oh wow, oh my gosh, you guys, it's got little sour cream and onion on top. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. We have Breyers Natural Strawberry. Now, if you all are a Breyers fan, this set is full of Briars ice cream. Definitely no complaints on that, but it is full of them. So if you are a fan of Briars, this is definitely a good set for you. So it's natural strawberry, so I'm guessing it's gonna be pink. I don't know. And it is pink. Which way do you go? You go this way. Oh, look at that. It's got the little scoops of ice cream right here. Oh, and there is the back. All right, next we have a Klondike Crunch. I do love a good Klondike bar. And this is from my collection. So I just wanted to show you guys that the boxes are the same. Klondike, when I think of Klondike, I think of those original Klondike commercials. I don't even know if they still have them on, but it was, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Again, my singing is terrible, but I still do it. All right. Oh, <laughs> and I love guys, I really love the touch that they put uh, the bite marks in these. I think that is such a great touch. And there is the back. We have Orville Redenbacher, movie theater butter. The best type of popcorn is the butter. I like when you go to movie theaters and you could do your own butter. That, that is the best. Now we do have the Boom Chicka Pop that does have the popcorn kernel, so, or the popcorn, the popped popcorn. So I'm curious if that looks like the Boom Chicka Pop. No, it doesn't. It's actually like a bag of popcorn. Oh, that is so stinking cute, you guys. And there's the back down, and there is the little bottled popcorn. Next we have Briar's Natural Vanilla, and we, in part one, we did open up another natural vanilla, so I'm curious what is in here. In the first one, it was a little pink ice cream scoop, and it was super stinking cute. So I'm curious what this can be. I'm guessing it's a dollop of ice cream, but we were surprised with the ice cream scooper, so let's see what we have here. It looks like this is just a little spoon of ice cream and I love that they made it pink again. And guys, I know it's the glitter set, but I just love, I just love the glitter, you guys. I love it. Jeff Boyardee macaroni and cheese. I've never had their mini macaroni and cheese, but as you know, I love the ravioli. So I remember getting these for the ravioli and the spaghetti and meatballs. And don't forget the beefaroni. The beefaroni is also delicious. Oh, how cute! It's a little spoon with macaroni and cheese. And there's the front. Oh, it's got the little. I love when they have the little lips, you guys. There's that. And there is the back. We have Klondike Minis, a quick bite that's just right. Well, that's not, oh, how cute. <laughs> I love that. And there's that and that. So I've never had a Klondike Mini. I don't think I've ever seen Klondike Minis in the store. So I'm curious to see what this one looks like. The other Klondike had a bite in it, so we'll see. 
Oh my goodness, you guys, it's all the minis stacked up. Look at that. Oh, that is so stinking cute. Everything is stinking cute today. I'm pretty selective about what's stinking cute, but today everything is stinking cute. We have Banquet Mega Bowls. Ooh, white meat chicken, corn and cheese. Sounds like a nice filling meal. And like we said in the other video, guys, it has 19 grams. I don't, I still don't know what, what 19 grams of what. I'm hoping it's protein and not sugar. That wouldn't taste very good, guys. Chicken and sugar? Mm. No, thank you. Oh, and it's a little bowl. Oh, with the, with the blue spoon. We now have Swiss Miss Milk Chocolate. It has all the chocolate bits on the outside, and it looks like it gives you, these are, these are the directions of how to make the hot chocolate. I prefer my hot chocolate with milk and not water. Now I did see this on the package, uh, I did see this on the, dis, um, on the packaging when I bought this, so I've definitely been looking forward to this piece. <laughs> It's a little mug, you guys. You can just, oh, that's so cute. And it looks like this is the little whipped cream on top. And there's the back. We have Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. I was talking about this earlier. I used to eat it when it came in this little container. So I don't know what this one is gonna look like. I don't know if it's gonna be the spoon. I don't know if it's gonna be the bowl. I don't know. It is. It looks like, oh, how cute, it's the spaghetti. And it looks like that's supposed to be, that's a little fork. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love this one. It almost kind of looks like a little pineapple. If I just, no. Not really. <laughs> Here's the back. All right, guys, the next thing I wanna show you is the little shopping baskets. It says Shopkins and it has the letter S. These are a really good size, you guys. Like this is my index finger, so that shows you how big they are. And it does come with three of them. So now whatever we open, we're just gonna put in these little baskets to put them to good use. And we have another Briars. We have Briars Chocolate Mint. And there's the Briars on top. Not a fan of chocolate mint myself, but I really do love chocolate chip from Baskin Robbins. I think because I've opened up so many Briars, you guys, you guys now know all of my ice cream preferences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for bearing with me, you guys. And we have, oh, how stinking cute is that? We have the little mint color. Oh, how cute. And oh, can you guys see this? Is that a heart? I think that's a little heart, you guys. What do you think? Let me know what you think, if that's a heart or not. It does look like one from here, but there's the mint. And of course the little blue glitter spoon. And we went ahead and put the Briar's chocolate mint in the basket. Now we have Slush Puppy. This is our third Slush Puppy that we are opening. We've already opened up uh, the cherry and the lime. So we have a pretty good idea of what this looks like. Oh, <laughs> and she's blue. Oh, she looks surprised. She looks surprised. And there's the back. Next we have Skechers lights. It says there they are designed in Los Angeles and they sure are. Love the pink box by the way. They are located in case you're interested in Manhattan Beach and next to their headquarters there is a huge Skechers store and it's literally just steps from the beach you guys. It's really nice being down there. Oh, I love this color. I love the teal and the pink laces. It's a tiny shoe. And there is the bottom. 
Any guess what's next, you guys? It is another Briars. Here's the top. And looks like we have another ice cream scoop. So it looks like that is that cherry and it looks like a little blue scooper. We have Rotel Original Diced Tomatoes and Green Chilies. And it looks like if you do get the can, there is a recipe for the famous queso dip and the rockin' guacamole. Guacamole is delicious, but rockin' guacamole? Well, now I gotta buy the can. Now I gotta buy the Rotel to see what that tastes like. Chipotle has some delicious guacamole though. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's little tomatoes. And it's really squishy like the mustard and the ketchup that we just opened up. Now we have Twinkle Toes by Skechers. They light up, they're flexible, they're lightweight and durable. Well, what else could you ask for in a shoe? This is a really pretty box. I like this box. Looks like we got more pink. And that's the face. And then there's the bottom with the little stars. I like that. We have Snack Pack Pudding Chocolate Vanilla. I have this in my regular collection. So it's nice to get the glitter version as well. And there's always two pieces when in the pudding. Okay, there is the first little pudding, or as I call them, the pudding people. Oh, let's open up the second bag. And there's our second pudding person. <laughs> we have Hunt's pasta sauce traditional. I don't know Hunt's made a pasta sauce. Usually for pasta sauce, I know there's prego and there's ragu, that I know of. I do like prego. And it's a little spoon with the pasta sauce. And the back. All right, you guys, we got another Pringle can. I didn't realize we got barbecue. I just thought we got the three main ones. So this is a nice surprise. So it looks like it's gonna be little. Now the sour cream and onion had a little sour cream and onion on top, so I wonder if there's anything special with this one. It looks, is that like a little cowboy ad? <laughs> or is that just like a little, I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like a little cowboy hat. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it's really stinking cute, you guys. Look at that. And we have another slush puppy, and this one is red. So when it's red, I'm assuming it's like a cherry flavor. Or strawberry, or raspberry. <laughs> and it looks just like the other ones, you guys. And there's the back. All right, you guys, we just finished up this huge second section, and now we are moving on to the last part. Next, we have Ego Cinetoast Cinnamon Roll. Mmm, cinnamon rolls. That's the back. Mmm, cinnamon rolls. I think those cinnamon rolls, those cinnamon rolls that uh, Pillsbury makes are so good. All the icing, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a layer of them. 
and that's what it looks like on top and there it is Next we have my favorite Marie Callender's pie, chocolate satin. The perfect pie every time with chocolate satin, absolutely. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, this is the little whipped cream on top. And there's the back, bottom. And let's look at that cute top again. Oh, that's so cute. Next is Marie Callender's peanut butter cream pie. Now this I've definitely never seen before and never even noticed it on the Marie Callender's menu, but I think that's something I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for next time. Oh, how cute. <laughs> It's just got this little bit of icing, or sorry, whipped cream. Just like in the picture, look at that. Pop-Tarts Frosted Cherry. Now we've already opened up the strawberry, and there's the back. I find the best way to open up these packages, you guys, because I'm so afraid to tear it, is just to squeeze the sides. That's the best way. <laughs> oh, and it's got the little cherry on top. Huh, the cherry on top. And there's the back. We have another Marie Callender's. It is broccoli cheddar and potato pot pie. Warm, hearty, and delicious. Oh, you guys, it's like an entire pot pie. Look at that. It looks like this is like stuff oozing out from the pot pie. Oh, what a pretty little face. And there's the side, and there's the top. Next we have Nutri-Grain Cherry. Morning Energy Whole Grains. That is true. I am not a breakfast person, so growing up I ate a lot of Nutri-Grain bars. Still not a breakfast person. I'm more of a lunch and dinner person. And there's the top of cherry, there's the front and the back. And guys, I did pull out the, I do have the other version of the Pop-Tart cherry and this is what they both look like side by side. There's the top. We have Klondike original. So we've opened up the mini, we've opened up the crunchy, but we have not opened up the original. I wonder, see the first one had a big bite on it. The minis were stacked up. So I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. <laughs> it looks like it has a little bite out of it. Got the two little hands, hello. And there is the back. Next we have Popsicle Scribblers. That's the back. I have never had a scribbler. Opening these things up, guys, is opening my eyes to trying new things. Oopsie. <laughs> it looks like it's melting, so it's green and orange. That's so cute. It's like a little crayon. That, and there's the bottom. And that's the job. Oh, that's so cute. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And the Choco Taco. If you guys saw part one, you will see this just, this was what made me want to buy this collection. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, and the little bite. Oh my goodness. 
and it even feels a, a little rough like the real Choco Tacos. Oh my god, look at that! Again you guys, I couldn't say no to this face and I'm glad I didn't. Next we have Ego Thick and Fluffy Double Chocolatey. Now I did say my favorite type of pancakes is chocolate because you get more chocolate and <laughs> the more chocolate the better so I think I would enjoy these Ego chocolate waffles because they're double chocolate. <laughs> How cute it's got the little whipped cream and there's the back and in case you're curious here is the original and I love the little chocolate chips you guys it's such a cute touch. Next we have Welch's Strawberry Jelly. I think if I had to pick a favorite jelly flavor, it would definitely be strawberry. Whoopsie! Strawberry over grape. Oops, this is hard to get out. There we go. And there we go. It's a little spoon with some grape, sorry, strawberry jelly. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. The tiger, make every day great. I agree with that. Make every day great. And there it is. And there's the back. It's Kellogg's Fruit Loops. And looks like they have the loose Fruit Loops in there. I like that. Now, in case you guys are ever at the store and you get the original um, Real Littles that are like $3.99, uh, the display actually comes with Fruit Loops. So if you see like one or two left and you need those Fruit Loops, I say grab them. I do. And people don't seem to mind because they just throw them away anyway. All right, inside is Fruit Loopsie. <laughs> and there's Fruit Loopsie, and she's got the loose Fruit Loops in there. We have Hebrew National Beef Franks in a Blanket. So pigs in a blanket. <laughs> oh, I love this one. I have this in my original collection and I think this is so stinking cute, you guys. Cute. Next we have Good Humor King Cone Vanilla. Oh, and I like the, I think those are peanuts on top. I think peanuts makes ice cream taste really good. Drumstick has a really good uh, cone option. I like all the chocolate at the bottom. It's like frozen chocolate, it's so good. like whipped cream on top or I think that's just the ice cream that's actually the ice cream on top but it looks like whipped cream and it's got the, I don't know if you guys can see in the video but it's got uh, the little cone cone ridges and there's the bag we have mothers the original circus animal cookies now I opened this in one of my uh, unboxing videos I got this and I was so excited because I have really happy memories of eating mother's cookies with my mother. So um, that was something that we like to enjoy together. So uh, needless to say, I was very, very, very excited when I got it. <laughs> oh guys, I love this one. I love that they left the pink. I love that they did this. Oh wow, and there's the side. And I love the top because they have the little sprinkles. What animal is this? It looks like it is a camel. Next we have Kid Cuisine, but I thought to myself, we already opened up a Kid Cuisine. So it looks like one is chicken and the other is mini corn dogs and french fries.
And look at that. Oh, and it has all the glitter. This looks like a ton of glitter, you guys. That's so cute. Next is fudge striped cookies. I love to, uh, when I get my fudge striped cookies, I like to put the cookie in my finger and then just turn it as I eat. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? It can't be just me. I can't believe I'm the only one that does that. Let me know if you do that down in the comment section. I'd be really curious who else does it. <laughs> oh, how cute. That's such good detail, you guys. And there is the back, the bottom, and the top. And I've been really looking forward to opening this. It is original Ready Whip. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's just as cute as I thought it was gonna be. There's the back. All right, guys, we got Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. And guys, I have to tell you, we are in the home stretch. We have, including this, we have eight more to go. We're doing it, you guys. We got this. cute it looks like the other pot pie where it looks like the pot pie is coming out oh how cute and guys the little crust are you kidding me oh that's so stinking cute we have ego thick and fluffy original waffles and there's the top for you all belgian style the best style Oh my God, it's got like little raspberries. Oh, look at that. I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, look at that. And I love the color. This is a good waffle color. Awesome. We have Cutios. High in fun. <laughs> and it looks like they have um, the real little um, stuff you can buy on the back. Something else I could buy. <laughs> And I'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right, so it looks like these are the little uh the little cereals, kind of like Cheerios, but they're cuteos. <laughs> it's like Cheerios but cuteos. And there is the back and the top. Klondike Sandwiches Vanilla. Ooh, Oreo and Mrs. Fields. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's a little sandwich. Oh, look at that. Oh. See the little glitter. Oh, it's even got the little holes, you guys. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but there's little holes in the back. Cute. We have Marie Callender's Dutch Apple Pie. Apple pie is always best, of course, with vanilla ice cream can't have apple pie without ice cream. I mean, you could, but it's better with ice cream. Oh, look at, oh, look at that. And it's got the little dollop of ice cream, you guys. See, can't have it without ice cream. Looks like those little apples. There's the bottom. And of course, a little, little crust. We got Good Humor Giant Neapolitan. 
Oh, a cute box. Looks like a little letter. And it opens on this side. I was saying in my last video, you guys, that, um, whoopsie, that uh, I used to buy the Neapolitan ice cream, the regular, but I only ate the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we only buy strawberry now okay we have oh it's got a little bite guys i just i just love the little bite i think i i say that every time i open up one with a little bite oh look at that i do wish it was the different colors i wish it was like you know the chocolate vanilla and strawberry but it's still really stinking cute you guys and it's got the little holes again Ego home style. Goodness, that's tasty. <laughs> I think home style is their original waffles. <laughs> and it's got the little butter on top. Oh, and I don't know if you can see this, guys, but like, it looks like the butter is melting. All right, you guys, we made it. This is number 97, Marie Callender's Key Lime Pie. Oh, wow, you guys, this was quite a real little's journey. <laughs> it was a fun journey, though. I'm a little sad it's over, but this was quite an event quite an experience one i would gladly do again oh it's got the little whipped cream look at that <laughs> i love this well this was a really cute way to end this adventure and just so you guys can see everything <laughs> is gone it's so weird looking at it empty all right, you guys, this is everything we opened up. 97 individual pieces. Now, I'm going to say this was so much fun. I'm so glad I did it. And I have so many great real littles to add to my collection. This is usually where I tell you my favorite. And there's just too many to pick. I think they're all so cute and so adorable. Oh, I do hope one. Oh, and here's the cute little baskets. Oh, they're so cute. I do hope they uh, release something like this again because this certainly was a ton of fun to open up. All right, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do lots of unboxings on my channel, so if that's something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys, happy hunting, happy unboxing, and have a great Real Littles Day. Bye bye